Hello everyone, welcome to day 9 of the Stardew Valley 1.4 Spring Min Max Run. Uh, sorry to start without you today, but wanted to organize my chests a little bit and figured no one really wanted to see that. So I just came out here, straightened things up a bit, uh, put everything in my bar that I want to bring with me to the mines today. And I also separated out what should be... 5,000 gold worth of items that we are going to sell in order to get the steel axe tomorrow. There's a letter from Harvey taking care of us, watering the crops, as well as feeding the doggy because he's a good boy. One last thing before we go, we are going to make a crab pot today. These are bug meat, and we're going to stuff it full of bait. And hopefully we can get a solar essence today and three more bat wings. The bat wings should be pretty easy. And then we can... I believe that's everything that I want to bring with me. Yes. And let's just bring those parsnips and leave the two behind. But maybe we can get those minecarts opened up, uh, you know, if not on the 11th, on the 12th, just pretty soon, either way. Theoretically, could have them on the 10th if we had had just a little bit more luck in the mines and the beach in terms of getting those items together that we needed for the crab pot bundle and of course we still need a few items for the last boiler room bundle the enemy drop bundle Alright, get things smelting already. Off to a good start. Let's get our nice sword back. I want... Iron, coal, stone. And what should we bring to eat? Let's try the parsnips and the algae for right now. Primary goal, just keep going deeper, getting iron. We actually have another good luck day. Not a great luck day, but a good luck day. Go get that winter root. Do ghosts not appear to floor 60? That might be the case. Out of my way, slime. I don't want to mess with you. Nope, nope, there's a ghost. So you're gonna be nice and drop us a. Drop us a solar essence. Quite a few monsters on this floor. And he did! Ah, oh, that's amazing. And if this bat drops us a wing, there we go. We got it. We have everything we need for the boiler room. Now we just have to actually unlock the boiler room. But, I mean, the worst case scenario, we get it after we are able to harvest our cauliflowers. Oh, 
I just, I just really like to get it a smidge early. We don't have enough hardwood for it. Of course, now that we do have... Uh, now that we do have that solar essence, I really just kind of want the ghost to leave us alone. Kill these guys, just can drop coal and eh, why not go deeper? But ever so slowly start making our way towards the quest completion. Six hardwood. I don't know how many hardwood I have back at the farm. Might be able to I'll try to bring my hardwood back with me, that and as well as any other I get, just to see if it if I if it's worth anything to potentially try a hardwood route if the crab pot doesn't work out. And that's why we go for the enemies. Still not a fan of the slimes. I don't want to kill these dust sprites because I've not usually gone out of my way to do it in spring, but if we could somehow get the quest reward for 500 dust sprites, that would definitely be nice. But that's not something I usually unlock until a little bit later. health here. That could be problematic, so let's... Um, I guess we'll leave the coal for another time. This is probably my least favorite floor. Oh wow, that's nice. I will take it. Crystal dagger, pretty worthless. Try the spring onions. And let's start doing the CDs. I actually have plenty of energy. It's just my health that's not doing so hot. Guess it's time to start actually breaking some of these rocks open. Man, if we had gotten that Neptune's Glaive, if you are lucky enough to get a Neptune's Glaive, it's even that puts the four sword to shame. Really makes clearing out these floors of enemies so much easier. Alright. I'm really I'm <laughs> I'm very quickly over these ghosts.
can't even run away from them because they just go through walls and they just seem a little bit more homing than the bats do. Pretty rock heavy room. Hmm. Getting real low on health. Gotta start playing a little more defensively. There's another hardwood. Might actually have enough for the hardwood route. I would just have to take a day off mining tomorrow to chop wood, which also, my axe is in the shop, so I would have to get the axe, go cut wood, and then come back to drop off the axe, because I'm still, whatever route I take, definitely going to get the steel axe upgrade tomorrow. After all, I already put the money in. <laughs> So unfortunately, it's a smidge too early to be using our iron to make bombs, and we left our copper up at the entrance. Maybe I should have brought my copper with me, just in case of cherry bomb situations. Always nice to be able to make them in a pinch. Huh? You know what? Ooh, that is very nice. The lead rod? Won't help with the ghosts much, but that will make, if we can back an enemy into a corner, that'll make pretty quick work of everybody from here on out. And now I'm running out of energy and health. Gotta eat some algae to perk up. deal with any, the rod or any of the heavy weapons is that you do the smash attack and then you click a couple times as rapidly as you can to get a couple extra hits in. You really only get the multi-hit though if you can back him into a corner. p.m. I got time. I'm just gonna eat all my algae here. Probably gonna need to do another fishing run pretty soon. Not just for money for strawberry seeds, but also because Use a couple more iridium chubs for energy. I 
I don't think we're gonna be making it through the skeleton for today. Infested? No, we are skipping this floor. Ain't nobody got time for that. The other nice thing about monster hunting through floors is that it doesn't take energy. And they can drop ladders, so it can definitely be a help to a fast descent. happens. Man, this is a lot of rocks. And that's just not a great sign. There we go. Master Slingshot. Don't have a whole lot of use for him. Alright, 11.50. We're fast. We have enough time. To maybe do one more round of smelting. The next day, or to the end of the day. But for right now, because I don't, even if I can chop 200 wood, I don't want to just have to chop 200 wood just to turn it in right away. That's a pain, but I don't know where I can find rock crabs. I'm not seeing any. I'm not noticing any rock crabs to give me that really crucial crab drop. This will be the last recycling we have. No crabs. Alright then, what do I want to smelt as I am high talented out of here? Guess we can get a couple more uh, copper bars. What do we want to bring back with us? Let's leave that rod here, don't need that. Bring the stuff for our bundles. Hmm. 
leave the court because that's all right. That makes it a little bit easier to look at. Leave the trash here, leave the ores here. Let's take. got take the mist seeds back. And. Yeah, that looks decent. Alright, day nine over. Pretty good run so far. I got a good feeling about this. And let's see. Did I do better math this time? I did. 5,003, but. We won't lose that three. Looking good for tomorrow. Alright guys. See you next time.